Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Video 44 coming at you with another video. I'm making these videos like hotcakes right now, but it's a lot of news coming in. Okay, so look, the Lakers have, uh, according to the source that I've read, which is a source I get everything from, guy who's never led me astray, my homeboy, Abdul, um, who is pretty much locked in with, with everything Lakers and has been for many years. He says that the Lakers have offered Taylor Horton Tucker, Kendrick Nunn, and the first round pitch, which is the 2027 pick to the Pistons for uh, Jeremy Grant alone. Um, and of course, that's something that a lot of Laker fans would expect. That's our best offer pretty much for any deal that we have involved, I think. Uh, and, and, you know, it's one of those situations where I'm like, of course, I want Jeremy Grant and I'm not hesitant to really make that deal. Honestly, I'm not really hesitant. I like THT and I believe he's going to turn into a player that could be just as good as Jeremy Grant, maybe like four years from now, but I don't think we can really do much with that <laughs> right now um Kendrick Nunn's been out for as long as uh the season has been and he has our mid-level exception nobody's very happy about that um including himself who made it very clear that he wants to be a part of this and I definitely hear him um and of course that first round pick which I really have no interest in getting rid of because it's the only pick we have until 2028 but uh as it was explained to me that's not necessarily the end of that conversation because it, the reality is we have pick swaps, so we if it doesn't go a certain way, we may be able to get it in 2025. If it doesn't go a certain way, we may be able to get it in 2026, you know, that kind of thing. But if it, if it goes your way, it stretches out to 2026. If it goes your way then, then it stretches out to 2027. So, it's so all in all, the possibility of the Lakers being able to use that asset sooner is possible if they want to just go out and draft that player. It's possible. may not fall in your place. The Pistons went through this a couple years ago with their first-round pick. It just didn't fall to them, and they ended up having to give it away in a swap to, I think, Chicago or something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to be very careful giving away picks in general. But all in all, for what the Lakers need, for what Jeremy Grant couldn't be when he's healthy, uh, and he does kind of go in and out of the lineup here and there, but when he's healthy, he's definitely what we need. And most importantly, what he does is give us um, a way to play small ball without feeling too bad about it. Uh, now, do I think we can win if we do this and continue to play small ball? I don't, but I think we'll have much more wing defensive presence uh, players down there for ourselves, He's particularly Stanley Johnson, Jeremy Grant. I think that then, by default, is going to turn LeBron into a better defender because um, Bron tends to feed off of the energy of others defensively, which is something that's kind of weird, really. LeBron James, I think he, he, he conserves his effort very, very meticulously, very, very, very intentionally uh, on the defensive end so they can continue to be as strong and as and as um as deadly on the offensive end i think he also does the same in regards to shooting threes he'll pick a game a week where he'll shoot too many threes on purpose to the detriment of our team but it conserves his energy i believe i think that's what he's doing um so you know players that great know how to get rest without actually getting out of the game so that's exactly what i think he does there um so I said all that to say when he feels like locking in and playing D, uh, he's one of the best defenders in the world. And I'm not saying that because of the numbers. I'm saying that because of the eye test. He can lock anyone, and I mean anyone, on the perimeter down, all of them. They can all get locked down by LeBron James if he sits in that chair. So he just doesn't choose to do that very often. I think Jeremy Grant will kind of help with our overall team defense, and he will do it more. So, yeah. Another big body, small ball lineup player who can stretch the floor, give us some athleticism, block a shot here and there, uh, give us like 30 points on some good nights and stuff, maybe even more than that if he's really feeling himself, board the ball, all that. Unfortunately, though, we're going to ask him to play center. <laughs> we are. I know, I know it, especially if we don't fire this coach. He's going to ask Jeremy Grant to play center. And that is just wild. Or there's going to be lineups where Jeremy Grant ain't even going to be in the game because we're going to want to one the AK, AD at the center and then Braun at the four and then we'll probably have some other weird lineup on the floor if we keep this coach. That's why it's so important that whoever we get back in this trade has a different coach to play for than the one that we have right now. <laughs> so we can have an offense down there that is not going to make players look worse for coming here. And that's a concern. Jeremy Grant mess around and average nine points in this damn offense. So um, that's something I, I, I hope that part of this is so very clear <laughs> like we could there's a chance when we trade for jeremy grant and he's a lot worse here man it's just 
It's totally, it, it's what happens. It's what happens when we bring anybody here, it seems, except for Malik Monk. So, yeah, man, I, I'm hesitant, man. I don't feel comf confident about anything the Lakers do until they fix the guy who's running the show on the floor. The, the, the decisions that he makes is about as bad as Luke Walton. And just like Luke Walton, he needs to be given his walking papers. So, that's what I got to say, man. That's what I got to say. I didn't want to turn this into a bash vocal conversation, but there's no faith to be placed into the Lakers until they get a better play caller out there. So that's what there is. Hopefully in the trade for Jeremy Grant, um, you know, we'll be able to pull that off. Although I think you and I both know Detroit can get better deals. They, they can get a better package for Jeremy. So I don't think we'll win that bidding war. If you're asking me, no, I don't think we'll win that. But um, I love the idea that they're trying. I love the idea they're trying. I'm not mad at giving up Kendrick Nunn and 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 um, THT for the right price. And of course, we just have to throw in that first rounder. So I don't like that, but it is what it is. Giving away assets to get better today is something that you have to you have to get you got to get that right. You know what I'm saying? That's not something Rob can get wrong this time. You do this wrong, and, you, and you're going to be probably be in, you're probably going to lose your job. I'm just going to be real. Um, I'm not going to hold you. That's exactly what I think is going to happen. If if he gives up future assets, and the piece we bring back isn't good for us, he, he's going to lose Laker Nation. So that's 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 a lot of pressure, but, but it's the reality of the situation, Rob. You got to get. You got to get these moves right, bro, because the mistakes are piling up. There's too many different mistakes that we can point to and say, okay, this is Rob's fault. Okay, that's Rob's fault. That's Rob's fault. Yeah, this is Rob. It's too many of those starting to pile up, fam. Too many. And I got some good ones I can point to to offset some of that. But it's been a while since we've seen a really good move like that. You know, I like the Kend I like the, the Malik Monk pickup. That was maybe my favorite pickup of free agency. Um, you know, and, and stuff like that. But like, it, it, I don't, I don't know who would okay Trevor Ariza, uh, Wayne Ellington, uh, or Avery Bradley at this stage. D uh, uh, Dwight Howard to a degree, but I'm happy he's here. Uh, DJ. These are all decisions that a good GM is never going to agree to do. Not in 2021. That's not. Those players are not productive players at this time. So, bottom line is, you, you question whether or not he he he's gonna do the right thing this time i guess is what i'll say so that's it man that's it that's it be hesitant about giving away that first round pick dude that's the kicker you can give up none you can give up tht but you better make damn sure if you give up that pick that is for the right move and to be honest with you if jeremy grant isn't exactly who we think he is when he gets here it's the wrong move be damn sure bdl 44 peace